Hi, I'm Brian Raven. I'm the managing director of a company called White Light. We supply production technology to theatre, live events, music, broadcast, pretty much anything that needs people to be seen and heard. I'm also a trustee of Putney Arts Theatre, which is where we are today. Um, I've been involved in Putney Arts Theatre, which is a, an art centre in the centre of Putney, uh, for 30 years. Hi, I'm Veronica Wilson. I'm the General Manager at Putney Arts Theatre. Um, we have a lot of opportunities for people who have an interest in backstage and technical opportunities. Uh, we make that available to our young people from when they're a teenager. So we have really good opportunities for teenagers running our lights, learning about sound and helping backstage with stage management. Um, so with my Putney Arts Theatre hat on, uh, I think Wandsworth and Putney are amazing communities. Um, this uh, centre has been going since 1964. Uh, we run children's classes. We also do very good quality theatre, um, amateur theatre. This place gets used for everything that the community wants. We have art exhibitions here, we have music nights, we have comedy nights. With my white light hat on, uh, we're just across the border. We're based in Wimbledon, uh, but a lot of our staff live in Wandsworth and Putney uh, because it is so close. Uh, and whilst I'm biased, because I also live in Wandsworth, um, it's a great place to live. Well, it's a perfect career with anyone who has got a technical thirst for knowledge, but has also got creativity. You do need to know about the technology, but you also need to know about how to use it creatively. It's all very well being able to put the lights up in the right place because you know about the lights, but you've also got to make sure that person's lit properly by switching them on and off at the right time and putting them in the right place. So we're looking for people who want to have that thirst for knowledge, who want to work hard and work on exciting projects. So for instance, in the last couple of years, White Light have sent people literally all over the world. We've had teams in Korea for the Winter Olympics. We've had people in Moscow for the Football World Cup. We regularly send teams to Dublin and Rome for the Six Nations. And we had a large team in the Middle East uh, working on the largest indoor theme park. It's an exciting career. You get to work on amazing opportunities. Three quarters of the people working in the industry are actually freelance and self-employed and they, they move from project to project. And that's the very nature of the industry. And actually, uh, despite the fact it's a lot of fun and a lot of people enjoy it, it's actually quite well paid. Um, obviously with the COVID pandemic still ongoing, uh, a lot of mass gatherings, a lot of theatre and music are not happening at the moment. But that still means we're uh, busy. Uh, we're working on a lot of broadcast projects, uh, literally all over the UK. We've also developed um, some XR technology, extended reality technology, which we're using TV studios where people are not there, but they are there in that they're teleported in using XR technology. So for instance, we've just finished working on the Australian Open coverage for Eurosport, where the studio was in Wimbledon, but the presenter was in Spain and the athlete was in Australia. Yet, if you were watching at home on television, it would look like they were all in the same studio. What are the responsibilities of people in our industry? The main thing is, uh, and it's a cliche, but the show must go on. One of the reasons White Light as a company and the people who work in the industry generally go on to be incredibly successful is because they have this great attitude of making sure things happen. They don't walk away from the project half done. They don't go home at five o'clock when there's still work to be done. Um, and even if you don't stay in the industry, the skills you learn uh, working in the, the live events industry are phenomenal. You learn how to work as a member of a team, you learn how to work to a budget, you learn how to work to a time deadline, um, and more importantly, you learn to enjoy your job with a smile on your face. So to work in our industry, um, you don't really need formal qualifications as much as you do in many other industries. Um, what you need more is uh, an attitude of turning up on time, working hard, caring about doing a good job, and a, and a hunger to learn. Uh, the best people in our industry started at an early age and have worked up because then they have an understanding of the whole industry. 
Um, yes, there's still qualifications you do need. A lot of those you can get during your career. Um, and for some of the more technically complex roles in the industry, you do need maybe electronics or, or engineering qualifications. But the vast majority of people are driven by the right attitude rather than the right qualifications. Having said that, one of the best ways into the industry is apprenticeships, because again, you'll get nearly two years of learning about all the aspects of the industry. There's two particular ones that are particularly relevant for, for my side of the industry, the technical side of the industry, which is uh, creative venue technician and live events technician. And both of those relatively similar, um, and they're a great way of you spending 18 to 24 months meeting lots of people, getting all the basic skills, and more importantly, working out which bits of the industry really fire you up. One of the biggest things I've learned over the last few months is, again, how great the industry has been, how it's come together, it's been a time of crisis, and the industry have all looked after each other. We've raised money for those people who've not been able to work. Um, and I've realised that actually, the thing I've learned is that I chose the right career and I've ended up in the live events industry. Start at the bottom, don't be in a tearing hurry to get to the top. Uh, it's a great industry to work in, so therefore you'll probably be in this industry for 30, maybe 40 years. So don't be in a rush to get to the top of the tree, enjoy the journey. So whether that's starting with an apprenticeship or whether it's starting somewhere like here, um, where you come along to a, a, your local youth theatre and you offer to get involved in backstage. If I'm honest, it's the next one. Uh, just this morning I've been on telephone calls about uh, a series of e-gaming venues in the Middle East. I've been on a call about restarting our apprenticeship programme following the pandemic. Uh, I've talked to someone about a new West End show that's uh, due to happen next year. To be honest, it, it's such a different, varied industry. No two days are the same and consequently, um, I just look forward to the next project. <laughs>